everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. So this has been long awaited. Um, I did make a massive Gymshark order quite a while ago now when the new release was out. Um, I think there's been another release since then even, so I'm a bit behind on my filming. Um, but we're finally getting around to it. I've got some new lighting, as you might notice, so the quality of my videos is probably going to get a little bit better. I have already filmed the try-on for this video, um, so I will be inserting try-on clips. And if you haven't already guessed by the title, today's video is going to be a Gymshark haul. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, then I will leave it on the screen for you so you can go and check that out. Alright, so first things first then is going to be the new Adapt Mal Seamless. Um, and that's just because I am conveniently wearing it right now. This is definitely one of my favourite pieces. So there's going to be three criteria in this video for all of the pieces to me. And that's the squat proofness, the sweat proofness and the price. So as far as the squat proofness goes with the Adapt Mal Seamless, it is squat proof. Um, you can see a little tiny, tiny bit. Um, when you do squats. My recommendation would just be to wear a light coloured underwear and you won't see anything, I promise. I have already worked out in this outfit as well several times now because I've had them for quite a while, um, but they are, as far as I'm concerned, sweat proof. Um, you will obviously get a little bit of a darker colour when the clothes are wet, but it's nothing drastic and you really, really, it's, it's just not noticeable. Like, I have done seriously, seriously intense workouts in this and it's been fine. So I don't think you've got anything to worry about in that department. As far as the price goes, this one is one of the more expensive outfits on the Gymshark website. Um, I will leave the price of both of them on the screen for you now so you can see that. But in my opinion, I do think that they are worth it simply because a lot of Gymshark stuff is long lasting. If you're washing it properly, if you're looking after it properly, then it is going to look after you properly as well and it will last a lot longer things like the um you know the printed on logo and stuff they tend to crack and they tend to peel off if you don't wash them and look after them properly so just be careful on that i do obviously have my tip that i mentioned in every single gymshark haul and that is to wash all of your gymshark stuff inside out and on a cold wash around 40 degrees if you can um, and that should prevent any sort of cracking or peeling of the print and keep them in good shape for longer. So yeah, absolutely love this piece. It's got lots of different colours as well. I did only get this blue colour because I'm a big fan of blue. But if you were wondering as well, the old collection is exactly the same as this one. I say old collection, it's it's still a new release and it's still the Adapt Mal Seamless. Um, they've just released new colours recently. Um, it fits the same, the material is the same, everything is the same. Next thing then is going to be the new... Oh, Next thing then is going to be the new version of the camo, which I do have right here. Um, and they are currently inside out because I'm an idiot. Obviously, again, I will insert the try-on clip of this, um, but it's just got the same stuff. Gymshark logo there, Gymshark logo on the ankle as per usual. And then the typical famous booty scrunch on the back where the bum is. All of these are obviously seamless leggings, so no camel toe. The waistband print does follow on. Um, it just becomes a bit more ribbed and compressive material on the waistband, which is what we all want, or at least most people want anyway. As opposed to the old version of the camo, the pattern is very different. Um, I will just grab it for you one sec. So I've just pulled out the long sleeve crop because that was just what was on top. So this is the print of the old camo and this is the print of the new camo. Um, Obviously they are very different. I think this one is more representative of a camo pattern. Whereas the new one is sort of, to me it just doesn't look, it doesn't look camo. Like I feel like it's, it's really strange. I don't feel like it looks like camo or the traditional version of camo that I'm used to seeing anyway. Um, I've said camo far too many times. That is the new camo. Squat proof, yeah, 100%. Sweat proof, yeah, 100%. Price, again, everyone knows that the camo is always going to be one of the most expensive sets on Gymshark because it is one of the best. Um, and you know, supply and demand and all that. So, so again, I will put the price on the screen for the leggings and the top. Um, I haven't actually got the top, I didn't buy it. I just bought the leggings because I got that many sports bras that would go with this that I don't really care. But that is the camo. It is definitely one of my favorite things favorite 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 things these are amazing and the more you wear them the stretchier they become as well um, and they just sort of mold to your body um 
they're just amazing i need them in every color to be quite honest with you as far as i'm concerned yes they're worth the price that you pay um i will probably say that everything i've bought here is worth the price that you pay simply because of the fact that i said gymshark is an investment if you really do enjoy going to the gym if you really do enjoy dressing nice to go to the gym and making yourself feel confident and comfortable then everything on Gymshark is going to be worth your money and worth the price that is on there. It's an investment. The next thing that I'm going to talk about then is the loose fit training shorts. Now these aren't necessarily new um, but I did buy them because I got them in a different colour. I got them in green and they're so cute. I bloody love these. Um, so I do already have these in the black colour which you might have already seen on my Instagram if you follow me on there, if you don't go follow me. But essentially these are the loose fit training shorts, they're obviously part of the training collection. Um, they have the Gymshark logo there, Gymshark on the waistband which is so nice. Um, and then they have these little grips inside which really stop the shorts from moving when you're doing stuff and they work perfectly, they're brilliant. I absolutely love these, they're just nice if you're feeling a little bit, you know, not too confident in your skin at the moment, like say you go into the gym and you wake up and you're a bit bloated or you might be on your time of the month. Um, some loose fit shorts are perfect for that. I hate wearing leggings when I'm on my period. I just don't feel happy, I don't feel comfortable. I'm scared that like I'm gonna leak through and just, just not nice stuff. So we go for those um, on those times. I mean, I still wear them anyway, even when I'm not on my period, but like they're a good option to have as a backup just in case you need them. Um, so squat proof, they're obviously squat proof. You know, the material is like, it's like a thin cotton material. Um, you can't obviously see anything through there. So yeah, squat proof, sweat proof, probably not to be honest. Um, I reckon the waistband would be to an extent because the waistband is quite thick. Um, but if you started to get sweat around here and on your bum, it would probably take a little longer to come through due to the material, but it would probably definitely show through eventually if you was like soaking wet. The next thing that I've got then is the training shorts. Um, so these are not the loose fit training shorts. These are the tight fit training shorts. Um, as you can tell, I absolutely love the training collection. I think it's brilliant. So you got the logo logo on the back and these are quite short you'll see in the try on clip i'm not even going to try and explain how short they are but you'll just see these are one of those materials that can ride up if you aren't too careful um i do find myself pulling the legs down quite often just because you might be able to tell in the try on clip but around the thighs they do get a little bit tighter um so if you like running or you're sitting down they tend to roll up your leg which is semi-annoying, but it's also fine because you look cute, so we just deal with it. These are also squat proof, obviously sweat proof due to the colour. I'm not sure if there's any other colours in this collection, there probably is, I doubt they just came out with black. The black ones are definitely squat proof, they're sweat proof, um, and the price, £20, you can't go wrong, literally, they're amazing. The material is not compressive at all really, so the waistband won't hold you in if that's what you're looking for. I'm not too bothered because they are quite high-waisted, so I do feel supported anyway, but they definitely won't be like, you know, squashing in that little lower belly fat if that's what you're looking for because my little belly be poking out. The next thing that I will talk about then is the Speed Collection. So I say the collection, I've only got the sports bra from there. This is the cutest sports bra I've ever owned, I think. I love it. Um, it's very, very revealing shows a lot of cleavage if you're not interested in that then this is probably not the one for you um you can zip it up that is an option but as you will see in the try on clip it looks slightly strange when it's zipped up i don't know what what it is about it that looks strange but it just doesn't sit well with me when it's zipped up um so i do wear that one zipped down see as well that the back is all crisscrossed and then it has the bra clasp so the traditional bra clasp that you get on any other bra which i think is amazing because sometimes some girls have big boobs and small waists we, we need that we just need the adjustable clasp because it's gonna fit our waist better then and also our boobs so yeah this one is really good the support level i would say is high when it's zipped up medium zip down um it's you know the material's thick enough it's not sheer in the slightest sweat proof completely in this color and the price again can't go wrong with the price it's it's a great sports bra oh by the way um i am a size small in everything i'm a uk size eight in normal clothing 
um, and I am five foot four in height. So if you're wondering, you know, how to gauge your size, that's my measurements. Next thing then that I got was the training hoodie. They did release a new hoodie, I think, that was like the oversized version, but I feel like it was far too big. Like when I was seeing all of the athletes try it on, it just looked ridiculous because it was, it was just, it looked like a bin bag on them. So I ended up opting for the Gymshark training zip up hoodie which obviously is a zip up. It just comes with the branding, obviously, and some drawstrings on the top. Um, I did get this in a size small and you will see on the try on how that fits. Um, it goes to just above my bum, I'd say, um, which is the perfect length for me. I feel like that's enough. Um, I know a lot of girls tend to like oversized baggy stuff, but that to me is still quite big. Um, even though it is a size small, you'll see when I zip it up, it's still kind of like puffy. Um, and doesn't fit, you know, like like a mould sort of thing. So you do still have a lot of space and you do still have a lot of give and move. Um, it definitely keeps you warm. The only thing I will say with it is I've washed it a few times and it still leaves weird black fluff under my armpits every single time. And sometimes I take it off in the gym and forget about that. And then I'm there like doing fucking shoulder press with all this black fluff in my armpits. It's very attractive. As far as price goes, 100% worth it. Sweat proof, yeah, you're not gonna see sweat in that. Um, but to be honest, I don't really keep it on long enough to sweat in it because it's just, it's too hot. I just wear it more for like traveling to and from the gym or like if I'm just chilling about the house, I'll pop that on. Um, and that's all I really bought it for, to be quite honest with you. I'm perfectly happy with that. I think that's pretty much everything. I did buy some socks as well, but unfortunately they're all in the wash. The socks are a bit pricey, to be honest. You get three pairs for £15, so it's like £5 a pair, which you're paying for the branding, really. I mean, that's my choice. I just wanted some white socks because I bought a couple of pairs of white trainers recently and I think they look so cute. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it then guys. Um, again, I will reiterate if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I will put it up there for you so you can have a little look at that. If you enjoyed and if it was helpful, then please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because there will be plenty more Gymshark hauls to come, as you well know. And it's payday soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye!